Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets, great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. If you're trying to master Revit, make sure to subscribe to this channel to get new lessons every single day. In today's lesson, we'll see quickly how we can create custom breaklines families. I have on screen here the final product you're gonna get. This one is the basic one. Instead of the zigzag line, you can also have the elliptical lines in the middle there. It's fully parametric, you can make it wider or narrower. If I go to edit type, I can also change the size of this elliptical symbol. So if I want it to be deeper, that can do as well. Or I can make it a bit wider. And maybe less deep. You can see it's fully customizable. It's a similar thing for this zigzag line here. We added a twist here where you can add your custom field region. Instead of just solid white, you can have your custom pattern there. And of course, this symbol here is also fully parametric. Okay, let's see how we can create those from scratch. I will firstly close out this file. And now we can make a new family. The template to use is metric detail item. If your company has an equivalent, you can feel free to use that as well. Let's open this now and start drawing some framework reference planes for our item. Let's do the elliptical breakline family first. I'll put in here the first four reference planes to control our elliptical breakline symbol. So with those two here, copy them to the other side. And you will want to make sure they are equally spaced. Like so. The overall dimension from here to there will be the overall width of our symbol. I will turn this then into a parameter. Symbol width. And it's up to you if you want to control this symbol width at the instance level or at the type level. For me, it makes more sense to do this at a type level because then it's easier to control your office standard. You wouldn't want to have a slightly different symbol for each breakline family in the same project. So by keeping this as a type parameter, we can ensure your breakline icons can vary in the actual width of the masking region, but the breakline symbol in the middle will always be of the same size. So that's for width. Let's do the same now for the depth of our breakline symbol. This one is quicker to do. We only need two reference planes. And they also need to be equally spaced. The overall depth of the symbol will be from here to there. Let's make this into a parameter as well. Symbol depth. And just like before, I will keep this as a type parameter to better standardize the size of this symbol across the whole practice or across different projects. Next step, let's put in some more reference planes for our actual masking region. So, one more there. And then one more for each side. This one will be the next parameter. It will be the depth parameter. And this one is the parameter I want to keep as an instance parameter because it makes more sense to be able to change the entire depth of the masking region without having to make a new breakline type every single time. And finally, the last equal dimension will be between these three. And from here to there should be my overall width of the masking region. Again, this should be an instance parameter. Okay, it's time now for us to draw the actual masking region. Let's go to create masking region. Now, it's important that you start drawing out the symbol first before you draw the boundaries of the masking region. So let's focus on here. For the elliptical symbol, we need to do it in two halves. One elliptical half there and its mirror image down here. So let's go for this partial ellipse command and just draw it from this endpoint to this endpoint, finally ending up there. 
you can see now it allows us to continue so let's do the second half as well there we go the second elliptical arcs next step we can draw the boundary of our masking region so i will pick and lock once twice three times four times and now we can trim them to turn them into a nicely closed loop in here let's split it so we can end one segment there and another segment here looking good we can now select all the lines there and use maybe medium lines but the last three at the back let's turn them into invisible lines finish the sketch now and let's try to flex our dimensions so if i now drag one of those planes away you see that the elliptical symbol has updated it's not the same though for this one here the depth is not yet tied to the symbol as you can see it means we need to set up some additional constraints let me undo this reference planes move to set up the constraints we need to go back to the sketch of this region so click on it and do edit boundary now we can do an additional alignment from this plane to this quadrant point on the elliptical arcs you can see it's highlighting up click once to lock it and do the same for this other side lock it as well now let's test it out if i now drag this you will see it's updating nicely again so this region is now ready we can now load this into a project well i need a project first so let me open my breakline testing project here we go if i go to level two now check out those guys we make them again and i can load this family now into this project let's say we place it here sometimes the region can be on the wrong side worry not just select the region and press the space bar to rotate it now i can freely adjust the width of this red line icon the symbol stays the same and standardized but if you want to change it in the company standard just do it from here at the type and put in some additional different values here we go you can of course make it as deep as you like to cover the entire object that needs to be invisible so far so good let's do the same for our break line family with a zigzag symbol the good news is you don't have to do the entire thing here again i can just now go to save as and give it a new name family 2 in this case now if you think about it it's just this symbol here that we need to replace instead of two elliptical arcs we need four zigzag lines let's do it now i can firstly delete this region no need to draw again my reference planes they will be the same in this family i just have to go to create field region i'm not doing masking region because we want to eventually give this a custom field region now it's just a simple thing of drawing my zigzag line so one two three and four four segments we can now pick our other boundary lines for this region so pick and lock pick and lock lock and pick pick and lock make sure they are trimmed nicely into a loop as well just like before and similarly we can now split it here and adjust the lines like this finish it off that's not the pattern i wanted so we can change it now to something else how about starting with brick but now we can give it a good name like diagonal lines and make it less prominent maybe gray instead of black all right i can now load this into my project and this time maybe i'll place it here you can see there when you are about to place it you can also rotate it on placement so now i can put it here and adjust those dimensions slightly as you can see that's one thing i forgot to do i didn't turn those lines into invisible let's go back to the family and do this so get the region again get those three make them invisible lines 
back to the project now and that's it of course you can still go in here and change your dimensions for this zigzag symbol so maybe something like that entirely up to you if you like tutorials like this coming to you every single day make sure to subscribe to this channel for now practice this new skill and i'll see you in the next lesson